Welcome everyone to our shoe finish tutorial. We start off with the application of Easy Crust in the color olive green by using a thin brush to paint the perforations to create a two-tone effect. Make sure to carefully paint all the accents before applying the main color. Once the accents are complete, we take an application sponge to cover the entire shoe with brown colored Easy Crust. Make sure to apply the color on every part of the shoe. Next, we take a thin brush to apply the brown Easy Crust into the parts that the sponge did not reach. Once the shoe is completely covered, we use a soft sponge to blend the brown color, removing all excess paint. To create a rich two-tone effect, we take a bit of Easy Crust in the color coffee and apply it to the toe. Make sure to apply the Easy Crust bit by bit so you get the effect you desire without overdoing it. We apply the Easy Crust on the counter as well, using a small sponge while lightly brushing from the center to the side. We brush the seams to give it just that extra subtle touch that will make this finish stand out. As you can see, the finish is starting to look quite remarkable. A final blend with a sponge will make sure that excess paint is taken off and the Easy Crust two-tone coloring is optimally blended. Now that the Easy Crust is applied, we need to polish the shoe to get a perfect burnishing effect. First, you polish the shoe to smooth the grain of the leather. This will be the first step to make sure that your shoe stays in an optimal condition. In the next step, we apply a little burnishing wax to the brush and we polish our shoe with it. This will help the shoe to become more durable and more water resistant. Once we have completely polished the shoe with our PW18814 wax, we switch to a cotton mop with PW4040 to create that final polish. We are almost done now. Just one last polish. Just look at that result. To protect the shoe from the elements and to make the shoe more durable, we need to apply a top coat to give the shoe its final appearance. As we want our shoe to preferably last a lifetime, we want to give it optimal protection. So we've decided to use our Shine Cream SC38800 to protect the shoe and to give it that classy leather shine. Make sure that the top coat covers the entire surface so you don't get unwanted differences in appearance. I think it's almost done now. As you can see, we have created a classic burnished leather two-tone finish using only Easy Crust and solid wax polishing. As you can imagine, with so many colors to choose from, the possibilities are endless.